Thank you for clicking on today's video. I'm going to showcase you guys this smooth glow ripple effect that you can use in your music videos. It's something you definitely don't want to miss out on. So make sure you're locked in. But before we start, I just want to put you onto my brand new editing preset pack, Intensity. You can use these effects to spice up your videos with a simple drag and drop. So if you guys want to speed up your workflow and get Intensity, I have an amazing offer for you guys and the link will be in the description below. Without further ado, let's dive straight into this video. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is make sure we have our clip ready. I have mine in Premiere Pro, which I right click and then I go to replace with After Effects Composition, which I have already done. So the first thing you want to do is basically rotoscope out a layer that you want to make this effect for. So in today's video, I'm going to be rotoscoping out the jacket. Okay, so that's the first thing you want to do. Just go to your rotor brush and select your layer and just start rotoscoping this out. So once you've rotoscoped your subject, it should look something like this. So as you can see, Kendrick is actually wearing a crop jacket. It was hard to define, you know, the white t-shirt and the jacket, but we got there. And what we're going to do is we're going to click freeze on this rotoscope just to make sure everything is intact for this effect. Now, once we have done that, you just want to duplicate your layer and go to composition and just make sure that you delete the second rotor brush off of this second layer. So then we have our background back. Okay. So now we have the rotoscope, we got a background and what you can do is just to make things a little bit more clear for yourself so you don't go over anything, just name the background, background, and then name your first layer, rotor. So then you know what layer is what. So now we have our layers named, we know exactly what we're going to be editing on. You just basically want to go to the rotor first and make sure these are open and go to effects and presets and type in turbulent display which is right here. And you just want to drag that onto your scope layer. And now the first thing we're going to do is basically just play around with these options here. So the first thing I'm going to change is the amount. I'm just going to move this to around, let's just say not too much, just say like maybe like 110. And then we're going to go down to size and just decrease this to about, I'd say something like there looks good, but I'm thinking maybe around 25. Let's just say Let's just say 30, keep it at 30 for now. We can change it after if we need to. And then the next thing we're gonna go to is effects presets again and type in heat wave. Now, some of you might not have this preset because it's from Red Giant, but if you do have heat wave, this effect is gonna be sick. So I would recommend getting heat wave and using this effect, it is definitely worth it. So we're gonna go to the options here. We're gonna go to heat intensity and we're just gonna bring this slightly up, I'd say to 100 here just to give the effect that we're kind of looking for. And then for the flow speed, I'm gonna in maybe increase this to around, let's just say here, like 80, something around here. And then I'm gonna increase the blur amount for this up to, I'd say around 65, there looks good. And then the next thing we're gonna do is basically go to effects again and type in blur. And we're going to add a different type of blur. You guys can choose any type of blur, but I like to use Gaussian blur. And we're just going to drag this onto our roto. And we're going to increase this blurness by, let's just say, up to maybe like 8.5, something like that. So now when we look at our clip, you can see this sort of ripple effect. But it just looks sick. Like, imagine this with a trippy video or a project that you're working on and you want to create like a cinematic sort of trippy vibe. This is definitely what you want to go for, for sure. So, now how we're going to make this stand out even more is basically by typing in a glow. Now, you guys can use any sort of glows you want, but for this effect, I'm definitely going to be using deep glow. This one is definitely the one to use for this effect. But you can use uni glow, you can use um, the After Effects glow, but I just don't think it would work as intended in terms of this effect but what we're going to do is we're going to go to the options the radius and we're going to decrease our radius maybe 300 around 300 so then we're going to go to our threshold next and we are going to put this at around 20 i'd say i think that should be a good amount and then for the threshold smoothness we're just going to put this at around i'd say maybe 50 and see what sort of effect we're getting. And as you can see, this is already looking sick. Now this might be a little bit too bright. This may look way too overexposed. So what we're gonna do with the glow is we're just basically gonna decrease the exposure a little bit. I'd say just to like 0.40 and maybe bring the radius down 
to around maybe 2 230 here so then when we see it now it looks way better it doesn't look too glowy it doesn't look overexposed as much and we can just make this effect a little bit better bit by bit next thing we're going to do is basically just copy heat wave here so we have our settings ready and just type in heat wave and just drag it onto the first row again and we're just going to paste our settings in there on our second heat wave option and then we're going to go to distortion settings and we're just basically going to play around with a few of these so i'm going to bring down the distortion i'd say heat size to about 75 maybe just to give it that look and we're going to watch this back just to see how it looks before we make our final decision so now we got something like this you know which looks pretty sick i'm not gonna lie to you especially with a video like this i like this but i think i'm gonna bring it down to maybe around 80 just to even it out from the 75 and 85 this looks so sick i'm really liking this so the last thing we are gonna do is basically just type in hue on our presets and effects on the side and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to master saturation and we're just gonna slowly decrease this just to bring the glow out a little bit more. So I'd say around minus 50. So now that when we watch this back, we are getting more of the glow than the actual colors within the video, if that makes sense. Now you can actually customize this even more. You know, you could start to change the colors of the background. You can do different things like variations like this, where, you know, you'd have a different color. So let's just say, you know, around here, so that when you watch it back, it just kind of makes things look a bit different. I'm just going to keep it at around 50 because I think this look is just sick. And for some extra sauce, I know myself and a lot of you editors like to add some final touches. So if I was to do this, I would just maybe add like a little shake in between just as he spins, like maybe around here, bang. So I'd be a marker, M on the keyboard. And then around here, bang, as he turns back around, M on the keyboard here. And now I'll just add a simple shake effect. So we're going to make adjustment layer. And we are just going to trim this down a little bit, I'd say around there. Might be a little bit too long, actually, just around there. And just bring this adjustment layer in to where I said. And put it within, I'd say, like the middle of our marker. So I'd say around here, something like that. And then just literally just do the same for the second marker once we have applied our effect. So we can go to effects, we can go to presets, and this is the intensity preset pack that I was talking about at the start of the video. So feel free to go in the link in my description and get yours today. And we can just literally drag on small shake effect. I love this effect. It just looks so clean with a lot of videos. So what you can do is you can add that shake. So now it just adds a little bit of energy to your video. So say for example, there was a bass bump here in the track, bang right there. And then you can add your second shake literally right here, just like so. And what you can also do with this is you can just make this shake a little bit longer and make sure that our shake effect has the keyframes at the right time. So just delete it and drag it back onto your adjustment layer and bring this back in the middle here. So then now we're getting a shake. And if you really want to get experimental with this, you could just get another adjustment layer and literally put it just before the shake happens. And you can just go to a flash effect. So like here, I've got vintage flash photo effect and we can just drag this onto here. So then now we have like a nice vintage flash just before the shake, which looks really sick. And you can even add it just after the shake happens as well, just to clean it out. So we're just going to copy and paste this flash effect onto the start of the other shake and at the end of the other shake. So now you've got it rippling, flash, shake. And I think that looks sick. And that is the final product of today's video. I'm very happy with the way that this effect turned out. Feel free to put in the comments below what you wanna see next, what sort of effects you wanna see. Is it 3D, is it more rotoscopes? Please let me know. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you know when I upload. I'm posting every single day this month, so make sure you're locked in. And if you enjoyed today's video, smash that like button. I'll see you in the next one. Love.